Arm Holdings is a British multinational semiconductor and software design company, owned by SoftBank Group and its Vision Fund. With its headquarters in Cambridgeshire, within the United Kingdom, its primary business is in the design of ARM processors CPUs, although it also designs software development tools under the DS5, Realview and Kyle brands, as well as systems and platforms, system-on-a-chip infrastructure and software. As a holding Company, it also holds shares of other companies. It is considered to be market dominant for processors in mobile phones, smartphones or otherwise, and tablet computers. The company is one of the best known Silicon Fen companies, processors based on designs licensed from ARM, or designed by licensees of one of the ARM instruction set architectures, are used in all classes of computing devices, including in space. Examples include microcontrollers in embedded systems, from world's smallest to potentially world's most powerful supercomputers, including real-time safety systems cars abs, biometrics systems fingerprint sensor, smart TVs e.g. Android TV, all modern smartwatches such as Qualcomm TOQ, as well as smartphones, tablets, laptops, desktops even also for running, traditional x86, Microsoft Windows programs, servers and supercomputers, HPC, e.g. a CPU option. In Cray's supercomputers, ARM's Mali line of graphics processing units GPU are used in laptops, in over 50% of Android tablets by market share, and some versions of Samsung's smartphones and smartwatches Samsung Galaxy Gear. It is the third most popular GPU in mobile devices. Systems, including iPhone smartphones, frequently include many chips, from many different providers, that include one or more licensed ARM cores, in addition to those in the main ARM based processor. ARM's core designs are also used in chips that support many common network-related technologies in smartphones, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and broadband, in addition to corresponding equipment such as Bluetooth headsets, 802.11 AC routers, and network providers cellular LTE. ARM's main CPU competitors in servers include Intel and AMD, in mobile applications, Intel's x86 Atom is a competitor. AMD also sells ARM-based chips as well as x86. MIPS Technologies offers another risk design for embedded systems. ARM's main GPU competitors include mobile GPUs from Imagination Technologies, Powerva, Qualcomm, Adreno, and increasingly Nvidia and Intel. Despite competing within GPUs, Qualcomm and Nvidia have combined their GPUs with an ARM-licensed CPU. ARM had a primary listing on the London Stock Exchange and was a constituent of the FTSE 100 index. It also had a secondary listing on NASDAQ. However Japanese telecommunications company SoftBank Group made an agreed offer for ARM on 18 July 2016, subject to approval by ARM's shareholders, valuing the company at £23.4 billion short scale. The transaction was completed on 5 September 2016. Topic History Topic <laughs> Name The acronym ARM was first used in nineteen eighty three and originally stood for Acorn Risk Machine. 
Acorn Computer's first RISC processor was used in the original Acorn Archimedes and was one of the first RISC processors used in small computers. However, when the company was incorporated in 1990, the acronym was changed to Advanced Risk Machines in light of the company's name, Advanced Risk Machines Limited. At the time of the IPO in 1998, the company name was changed to Arm Holdings, often just called Arm like the processors. On 1 August 2017, the styling and logo were changed. The logo is now all lowercase and other uses of arm are in sentence case except where the whole sentence is uppercase, so, for instance, it is now arm holdings. <laughs> Founding The company was founded in November 1990 as Advanced Risk Machines Limited and structured as a joint venture between Acorn Computers, Apple Computer now Apple Inc. and VLSI Technology. The new company intended to further the development of the Acorn Risk Machine processor, which was originally used in the Acorn Archimedes and had been selected by Apple for their Newton project. Its first profitable year was 1993. The company's Silicon Valley and Tokyo offices were opened in 1994. Arm invested in Palmchip Corporation in 1997 to provide system-on-chip platforms and to enter into the disk drive market. In 1998, the company changed its name from Advanced Risk Machines Limited to Arm Limited. The company was first listed on the London Stock Exchange and Nasdaq in 1998 and by February 1999, Apple's shareholding had fallen to 14.8%. In 2010, Arm joined with IBM, Texas Instruments, Samsung, St. Ericsson, since dissolved, and Freescale Semiconductor, now NXP Semiconductors, in forming a non-profit open source engineering company, Lenaro. Topic: <inaudible> Acquisitions. Topic: 1999. Micrologic Solutions, a software consulting company based in Cambridge. Topic 2000 Allant Software, a developer of debugging software Infinite Designs, a design company based in Sheffield Euromips a smart card design house in Sofia Antipolis, France Topic 2001 The engineering team of Neural Micrologics, a debug hardware and software company based in Blackburn, England. Topic 2003. Adelante Technologies of Belgium, creating its Optimode data engines business, a form of lightweight DSP engine. Topic 2004 Axis Design Automation, a developer of ESL design tools and artisan components, a designer of physical IP, standard cell libraries, memory compilers, FIS, etc. The building blocks of integrated circuits. Topic 
Kyle Software, a leading developer of software development tools for the microcontroller MCU market, including 8051 and C16X platforms. ARM also acquired the engineering team of Powerscape. Topic 2006. Phalanx, now called Arm Norway, a developer of 3D graphics accelerators and SOISIC, who specialize in developing silicon on insulator physical IP. Topic 2011. Obsidian Software Inc. A privately held company that creates processor verification products Prolific, a developer of automated layout optimization software tools, and the Prolific team will join the ARM Physical IP team. Topic 2013 Internet of Things startup Sensinode Cadence's PANTA family of high-resolution display processor and scaling coprocessor IP cores. Topic 2014. Polisol, a software library implementing the SSL and TLS protocols. In February 2015, Polisol has been rebranded to MBED TLS to better show its fit inside the MBED ecosystem. Duolog Technologies, an electronic design automation company that developed a suite of tools that automate the process of IP configuration and IP integration. Topic. 2015 Sansa Security, a provider of hardware security IP and software for advanced system-on-chip components deployed in Internet of Things and mobile devices Wicentric, a Bluetooth smart stack and profile provider Sunrise Micro Devices, a provider of sub-1 volt Bluetooth radio intellectual property IP. Offspark, a provider of IoT security software Carbon Design Systems, a provider of cycle-accurate virtual prototyping solutions on 19 November, ARM, alongside Cisco Systems, Dell, Intel, Microsoft, and Princeton University, founded the OpenFog Consortium, to promote interests and development in fog computing. 2016 Apical, a provider of imaging and embedded computer vision IP products Alinea Software, a leading provider of software tools for HPC. Topic. Change of ownership Japanese telecommunications company SoftBank Group made an agreed offer for ARM on 18 July 2016, subject to approval by ARM's shareholders, valuing the company at £23.4 billion, .4 billion The transaction was completed on 5 September 2016. Topic Operations Topic Business Model 
Unlike most traditional microprocessor suppliers, such as Intel, Freescale the former semiconductor division of Motorola, now NXP Semiconductors and Renaissance a former joint venture between Hitachi and Mitsubishi Electric, ARM only creates and licenses its technology as intellectual property IP, rather than manufacturing and selling its own physical CPUs, GPUs, SARCs or microcontrollers. This model is similar to fellow British design houses, Arc International, and Imagination Technologies that both have stopped competing, at least as such, as both got bought, who have similarly been designing and licensing GPUs, CPUs, and SARCs, along with supplying tooling and various design and support services to their licensees. Topic Facilities The company has offices and design centers across the world, including San Jose, California, Austin, Texas, Chandler, Arizona and Bellevue, Washington in the United States, Bangalore and Noida in India, Trondheim in Norway, Lund in Sweden, Sofia Antipolis in France, Grasbrunn in Germany, Budapest in Hungary, Sentierne in Slovenia, Yokohama in Japan, China, Taiwan. Topic Technology A characteristic feature of ARM processors is their low electric power consumption, which makes them particularly suitable for use in portable devices. In fact, almost all modern mobile phones and personal digital assistants contain ARM CPUs, making them the most widely used 32-bit microprocessor family in the world. As of 2005, ARM processors accounted for over 75% of all 32 bit embedded CPUs. ARM processors are used as the main CPU for most mobile phones, including those manufactured by Apple, HTC, Nokia, Sony Ericsson, and Samsung. Many PDAs and handhelds, like the Apple iPod and iPad, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, 3DS and Switch, PlayStation Vita, Game Park GP32 and Game Park Holdings GP2X, as well as many other applications, including GPS navigation devices, digital cameras, digital televisions, network devices and storage. The WLAN processor of Sony's PlayStation Portable is an older ARM 9. Topic Licenses ARM offers several microprocessor core designs that have been publicly licensed 830 times, including 249 times for the newer application processors. Non-microcontroller used in such applications as smartphones and tablets. Three of those companies are known to have a license for one of ARM's most powerful processor core, the 64-bit Cortex-A72 some including ARM's other 64-bit core the Cortex-A53 and four have a license to their most powerful 32-bit core, the Cortex-A15. Cores for 32-bit architectures include Cortex-A32, Cortex-A15, Cortex-A12, Cortex-A17, Cortex-A9, Cortex-A8, Cortex-A7 and Cortex-A5, and older, classic ARM processors as well as variant architectures for microcontrollers that include these cores, Cortex-R7, Cortex-R5, Cortex-R4, Cortex-M4, Cortex-M3, Cortex-M1, Cortex-M0+, and Cortex-M0 for licensing. The three most popular licensing models are the 
Perpetual Implementation License, Term License, and Per Use License. Companies often license these designs from ARM to manufacture and integrate into their own system on chip SOC with other components such as GPUs sometimes ARMS Mali or radio basebands for mobile phones. In addition to licenses for their core designs, ARM offers an architectural license for their instruction sets, allowing the licensees to design their own cores that implement one of those instruction sets. An ARM architectural license is more costly than a regular ARM core license, and also requires the necessary engineering power to design a CPU based on the instruction set. Processors believed to be designed independently from ARM include Apple's architecture license from March 2008 A6, A6X, A7 and all subsequent Apple processors used in iPhone 5, iPad and iPhone 5S, Qualcomm's Snapdragon series used in smartphones such as the US version of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and Samsung's Exynos. Mongoose M1 cores. There were around 15 architectural licensees in 2013, including Marvell, Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom, and some others. Topic: <laughs> ARM core licensees. Companies that are current licensees of the 64-bit ARM V8A core designs include AMD, Applied Micro, Xgene, Broadcom, Calxida, Hisilicon, Rockchip, Samsung, and ST Microelectronics. Companies that are current or former licensees of 32-bit ARM core designs include AMD, Broadcom, Freescale, now NXP Semiconductors, Huawei. Hisilicon Division, IBM, Infineon Technologies, Infineon XMC 32-bit MCU families, Intel, older ARM 11 MP core. LG, Microsemi, NXP Semiconductors, Renaissance, Rockchip, Samsung, ST Microelectronics and Texas Instruments. Topic: ARM architectural licensees. In 2013, ARM stated that there are around 15 architectural licensees, but the full list is not yet public knowledge. Companies with a 64-bit ARM V8A architectural license include Applied Micro, Broadcom, Cavium, Huawei, Nvidia, AMD. Qualcomm, Samsung, and Apple. Companies with a 32 bit ARM architectural license include Broadcom, ARMv7, Faraday Technology, ARMv4, ARMv5, Marvell Technology Group, Microsoft, Qualcomm, Intel, and Apple. For supercomputers, e.g. Craze and Fujitsu's. The supercomputer maker Cray has added ARM option, i.e. CPU blade option, using Cavium's Thundix 2 to their XC50 supercomputers, and Cray claims that ARM is a third processor architecture for building next generation supercomputers. For e.g. the U.S. Department of Energy, Fujitsu the supercomputer maker of June 2011 world's fastest K-computer according to TOP500 announced at the International Supercomputing Conference in June 2016 that its future Exascale supercomputer will feature processors of its own design that implement the ARM V8 architecture, rather than the Spark processors used in earlier supercomputers. 
These processes will also implement extensions to the ARMv8 architecture equivalent to HPC ACE2 that Fujitsu is developing with ARM Holdings. The Fujitsu supercomputer POST K planned will use 512 bit scalable vector extension with the goal of beginning full operations around 2021. With Post K, Fujitsu and RIKEN aim to create the world's highest performing supercomputer. SVE is a new extension for ARMv8 allowing implementation choices for vector lengths that scale from 128 to 2048 bits. Topic Mali licensees Companies that are current licensees of the Mali GPU designs include Rockchip, Alwinner, Samsung, Huawei, MediaTek, Spreadtrum and others. Topic: <laughs> Sales and market share. ARM-based CPU market share in 2010, over 95% in smartphone market, 10% in mobile computers, 35% in digital TVs and set-top boxes, however, ARM did not have any market share in servers and desktop PCs. The first mobile phone to use an ARM processor was 1997's Nokia 6110 mobile phone. As of 2014, over 50 billion chips with ARM cores inside have been produced, 10 billion of which were produced in 2013. In the fourth quarter of 2010, 1.8 billion chips based on an ARM design were manufactured, with Microsoft's ARM based Windows 8 OS. Market research firm IHS predicted that in 2015, 23% of all the PCs in the world will use ARM processors. Processes. This guess by IHS has since been proved wrong and desktop windows for ARM didn't arrive until 2018. In May 2012, Dell announced the Copper Platform, a server based on Marvell's ARM powered devices. In October 2012, ARM announced the first set of early licensees of the 64-bit capable Cortex-A57 processor. ARM's goal was to have, by 2015, ARM-based processors in more than half of all tablets, mini notebooks, and other mobile PCs sold. Topic: Partnerships. Topic: University of Michigan. In 2011, ARM renewed a five-year, $5 million research partnership with University of Michigan, which extended their existing research partnership to 2015. This partnership will focus on ultra-low energy and sustainable computing. World's smallest computer as of the 21st of June 2018, the world's smallest computer or computer device made by University of Michigan team is based on an ARM Cortex M0 Plus core. Topic: <laughs> Arduino. In October 2017, Arduino announced its partnership with ARM. The announcement said, in part, ARM recognized independence as a core value of Arduino without any lock-in with the ARM architecture. Arduino intends to continue to work with all technology vendors and architectures. Topic Intel. 
In October 2018, Arm Holdings partnered with Intel in order to share code for embedded systems through the Yocto project. Topic: <laughs> Senior Management Warren East was appointed Chief Executive Officer of Arm Holdings in October 2001. In the 2011 financial year, East received a total compensation of £1,187,500 from Arm, comprising a salary of £475,000 and a bonus of £712,500. East said in March 2013 that he would retire from Arm in May, with President Simon Seegers taking over as CEO. In March 2014, former Wrexham chairman Stuart Chambers succeeded John Buchanan as chairman. Chambers, a non-executive director of Tesco and former chief executive of Nippon Sheet Glass Group, had previously worked at Mars and Royal Dutch Shell. Topic. See also. Imagination Technologies Arc International